Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with our Total War Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai Tournament match cast. This is the Chaos Riders Tournament. Round of 16 match between Killerfish of TWR and Furry Beastman of 1. We are on Ikonora Village. Hopefully as soon as the game loads we'll be able to see what's happening. I certainly hope so. I certainly do. All right, so there we go. Now a bit of slow motion to go over the compositions for Killerfish. We see actually appears to be Bushido Gen, yeah, because Heroic Assault. Uh, then for the rest of the composition, we have two Yariki, rank two on the left, on the right rather, Spear Levy with what seems to be a Red Bear rank two with Yarikachi rank three. In the center, we have uh, two Shogitai with two Spear Levy and the Yarikachi rank three, probably. There we go. And also a Vermilion Bird Force rank three with Suppression Fire. It would seem on the left, we see two Saber Cav, Vanilla, and two Yari Cav, one rank two, one rank five. Now, I didn't go with the dojos. We have Shrine, Sword Dojo, and Archery Dojo. And for Furry Beastman, we see. Looks like a mix between command and gun, I would imagine. Uh, that's the, yeah. I guess that's the general. But anyway, actually no, this is uh, gun and melee, I think, is his mix. Anyway, yeah, the two Yariki here, rank two, the one red bear and one black tortoise in the center. Looks like two of these red bears and on the right flank his 150 range the infantry the marine uh looks like two white bears and yeah just a red bear with this black tortoise in a strange position and he has a revolver cap as well so let's hit fast forward up until the engagement happens because uh, it might take a while so you can see the positioning here, it looks like uh, Killerfish is only going to go for one dojo, the one in the center, whereas uh, Furry Beastman is definitely going to be going for more. And Furry Beastman, as you can see here, is actually trying to position himself in a way that he can shoot, but this Black Tortoise got so close and hasn't shot already. Now what Furry Beastman has to do is, has to kite in different directions here, that's the way to do it. So it looks like uh, this white bear got the first shot off, looks like more shots off here by Furry Beastman, so... So far, not so bad at all by Furry Beastman, but he's wasting Revolver Cav volleys onto Spear Levy, but might be alright if uh, these units get shots onto the Shogitai, though. It looks like he's gonna kite back, Revolvers are here. Uh, this Spear Levy is totally out of position because it's getting shot. Furry Beastman's general is trying to target more units, and now he's gonna send in a Yariki into this blob with support from his Revolver Cav, should do really well. But this Yariki should have been around here to defend his lines. Now his lines will get caught. So this is not going to be the best trade here in the center for Furry Beastman. And on this flank, you can see he's actually going to go straight for this, these Red Bears with one Yariki. But this Yariki here is not being efficient. Because he's being charged in the center and he has no Yariki here to defend his center. Looks like the Revolver Cap does get hit here. And this Marine has so far not been in the engagement at all. This White Bear is doing some strange things here. Yariki has to pull out soon or it will die to the Spear Levy. Uh, the General of Furry Beastman is going to get engaged by a 40-man Yariki, but it's kind of not entirely there. But still, a lot of it is, and now this General should go down. Yeah, just Killerfish has way too much in the center, but now it looks like his, his attack might start not doing so well because... Uh, oh, never mind, because... Furry Beastman did not pull out his Yariki here. But there's still a Marine on the field for Furry Beastman, so if he can kill the Cav of Killerfish, he's in great spot. And Furry Beastman's Cav is dying here as well. So not the greatest engagements for Furry Beastman this time around, but here general, might sir. go really well as well. Killerfish did end up killing the enemy general, of course, which could change things around massively. Now he's going to get a Saber Cap straight into this White Bear, which is going to give him a great position in this game. This Red Bear does route the Spear Levy, which is a huge move. And it could finish off the Red Bear here, but it's not going to because... Uh, now, nice charges here by that Yariki on this flank. Yeah, the Marine is still alive, but it's just... 
that's all that uh, Killerfish has to worry about right now. And like, as long as he takes the volley with like a Yarikachi or Spear Levy or something, you know? He has like plenty of melee units. And he has like some line units here too and some more units here, so... This is honestly in Killerfish's favor. As long as he spreads his attack correctly onto this marine and white bear. There's a Yariki, which he has to take into consideration, but I still think Killerfish is going to do this here if he attacks correctly. Because he has at least two cav units, and I believe he has his general. There we go. So if he comes in from like different angles with the cav and with his infantry, I can't see him losing it, especially as now he has the, sh the shrine. Uh, not yeah, it's Killerfish. No, he doesn't have the shrine yet. He hasn't capped it. This is a huge blunder by Killerfish. He needs to cap it right now. Archer Dojo is on uh, in Furry Beastman's favor, but he doesn't have the shrine, which is huge here. If Killerfish didn't have the shrine, Killerfish's army could have potentially chain routed, which would have been massive, but uh, obviously that's not going to happen now because of the shrine. Well, it can still happen given the circumstances, but now it will be much more difficult to route Killerfish's units considering the shrine. You can see the balance of power is pretty even. All depends on how Killerfish deals with the marine, because this marine could do a lot. And yeah, the white bear is being moved around. Very beastman gets the volley off into this blob. If this is a massive blob and it gets shot at by the marine, it's over. Or if the if the cab gets gets shot at by the marine, this is uh, gonna be really bad. Oh, Furry beastman makes a mistake here. Leaves his uh, marine open to a charge, and his white bear doesn't really do too much here. And looks like that is going to be the concession of defeat. So again, as I said, Killerfish should have won that game from that point if engaged uh, if he engaged properly, and he kind of did. So he he ended up taking that victory, but it was much closer than uh, it should have been. I suppose because like. Yeah, he pushed the, the center really hard, but then the flanks of Freddy Beastman collapsed in and uh, in on him and started doing damage. But really, Freddy Beastman didn't use his marines well at all. I think they didn't get many kills here. Let's see. Actually, 181, but they could have gotten even more than that, like a lot more than that. Which uh, Because he didn't, like when the engagement started in the center, he, he didn't send the, the marines to support the center quickly enough. They were just sitting there... Watching the stars, I guess. But yeah, that's game one in uh, Killfish's favor. This is game two on our Ridge Pass between Furry Beastman and Killerfish. Killerfish up 1 0 in the series. Right now, he might end up taking the next few games. We will uh, see. The next two games, I mean, because it's a best of five. So he needs to win five games. Not five games, but three games in order to advance. Three out of five. And there we go, the game has loaded up. So what dojos do we have? Well, we see the farmhouse and the shrine. Clearly Killerfish with the shrine, that is uh, an, adv an advantageous position for him. Now for a beastman's build, well, we see the... I guess it's the gun Bushido gen. Revolver cab on the field, two Yariki on the left here. One vanilla, one rank five. And on the right flank, same thing. Now, line-wise, I like how he spreads out his line like this. I can actually go over his build. So we see on the field four red bears, two on each flank. Very, very nice to see. And in the center, white bear with a vermilion bird force. Then we have two shogitai and a black tortoise over here. Now for killerfish. Two yariki on the left, both rank two. In the center, we see his uh, full bushido gen. Then Armstrong Guns rank 2 here, huh, very very interesting choice indeed. US Marines as well as Shogitai rank 2, Yarikachi rank 2, Spear Levy and Vermilion Bird Force here. But there's definitely like 2 Red Bears there and more units on the field for Killerfish than he's letting on. And woo, this, uh, this Armstrong Gun has already got 22 kills. It's only on Red Bear though. 
And there isn't really a marine on the field for furry beast men, so there's not really that many targets for uh, killerfish with the Armstrong gun. Now, if he gets really good shots off on the revolver cap or the Yariki, that could be massive. But it's like they have only got 28 kills here, so if furry beast man takes the engagement properly, he's going to win here. Not if he rushes in frontally against the US Marines, though, as he's doing here. Massive damage being done here by uh, that Marine. But Killerfish is not supporting it with a second line unit, because if it was supported by a, a second line unit, he could stand and fight here. So now this is a mistake by Killerfish, and this this part of Furry Beastman's army is a bit late to the party. It should be pushing in right now, and it really isn't. And now Killerfish is going to get another sick volley off onto that Vermilion Bird Force. But actually, no, because he doesn't have line of sight here. This is huge. He should have pulled back even further, but now... Flanking shots by the Red Bear here. He's gonna pull back now, so he's gonna start losing some men. So line of sight. Ooh, the US Marines taking massive casualties, but he's got Red Bear supporting them. Still lots of casualties. And here there's a cav engagement, which looks like Killerfish should end up taking. Uh, there's gonna be more cav coming in from Furry Beastman. Now nobody controls the shrine, which is really good, of course, for Furry Beastman, because he just rush in. But Killerfish could now just go in with the Shogatai. There's a calving engagement here, which Killerfish should get a better end of since he's sending his general around. And this fight here is so close. Revolver Cav could turn around and the massacre the Cav of Killerfish, but looks like it's not doing that right now. The general of Killerfish is not going in, and he really shouldn't because there's this red bear here. In the center, crazy stuff happening, but Shogatai of Killerfish destroying those of Furry Beastman. Yarikachi here being very useful, keeping two red bears occupied. That's really, really nice. But same thing with the Shogatai. It's engaging the red bear and the US Marines, so they cannot fire. But now if Killerfish pulls back his US Marines, he's going to be in a great spot. Shogatai is still pushing forward, and now this flank is going to go to Killerfish. He needs to be careful not to get shot at, though. Ooh, he is not moving this uh, Yariki around. That is a mistake by Killerfish. On his side, the Spear Levy could end up getting routed. It's gonna get shot to death, though, by the General of Furry Beastman. Now in the center, it looks like Furry Beastman might actually be able to do something. Uh, Killerfish getting some really nice shots off with the Vermilion Bird Force on the Red Bears here. And now the Armstrong guns are not long for this world because uh, they're gonna get charged by Shogitai. Center has collapsed for Killerfish, but the Marine is still alive. And with the Marine being alive, that's huge. Siarikachi is going to get rear charged by the general of Furry Beastman. We'll see if that routes it because it has plenty of morale, so it might end up just killing the general of Furry Beastman. Uh, looks like there was a downhill charge onto this red bear, which did some damage, but uh, still. Now, the US Marines are getting shot at in the flank by the revolver cap, which is huge because now they're losing a lot of men. This is what needs to be looked at right now. And looks like. Somebody conceded. I don't know who. I think I think Killerfish conceded because he does have tendencies to concede when he thinks uh, that he actually doesn't have a chance in the game. Or when, when he thinks he's lost, so... Yeah, but it wasn't going to go too well for him. But he did have the Marine, which could have granted him the victory here. I don't know, he should have remained because... He actually didn't lose as many, so it was still pretty close at that point. Yeah, he lost his Armstrongs, but mm, I don't know about that. Free Beastman, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Marines were still alive, and they were going to get some volleys off onto the Revolver Cavalry, so I thought that was... I mean, it wasn't looking great for Killerfish, but I thought he could have pulled it off, but I guess he thinks otherwise. Now, if you look at the kills for the Beastman and uh, Shogitai and Revolver Cab, wow, for Killerfish, Shogitai, Armstrong Guns, and the Marines still did some damage, but they got owned by a volley in the beginning in the center, and then they got shot at by the Revolver Cab, so that wasn't good for them. But that is game two, looks like Furry Beastman takes the game. And actually, I don't have game three. Uh, I miss game three, so I don't have that. But the result of that game was apparently that Killerfish won game three. Anyway, I'll see you in game four.
So here we are with game number four of the match. So. Hmm. Could see if uh, Kudrafish pulls it off here or if Furry Beastman uh, actually gets a chance to tie up the series and go to a tiebreaker. We'll see. We are on Caldera, which is... Uh, a map that I like, for sure, especially in Shogun 2. Uh, th this position here, I wonder if somebody's going to use it. Anyway, dojo-wise, we see Farmhouse, Shrine, and Sword Dojo. Now, the Shrine will be heavily contested, but Killerfish starts with it, so that's really good for him. Now, dojo-wise, well, not dojo-wise, we already know the dojos, but build-wise, Killerfish has his... Oh, full Gungeon now. Okay, so there's a difference. Two YRQ on the left. Looks like both rank two. Two YRQ on the right. One rank two, one rank seven. And we also have two Red Bears on the right. The Vermilion rank three in the center with Suppression Fire. US Marine on the field. Another Red Bear. Two more Red Bears here. Apparently one of them has Suppression Fire. Then we see a Shogitai on the field with a Spear Levy there over there and just the Spear Levy here with no Shogitai. And also a Saber Cav on the field by Killerfish. Now, Furry Beast, man, what does he have? Well, it does look like he has 2 Yariki on the right flank here, rank 2. 2 Yariki, rank 2 on the left as well. Let's enter this Revolver Cav with his usual, I suppose it is a melee Gungeon, but not exactly sure. Now he does have a 150 in the Royal Marines. Actually, a second 152 in the United States Marines. Now on, on this map, I'm not so sure about bringing two Marines, but we'll see if that works out for him. Uh, we also have one red bear, two, three, three red bears, two black tortoise, and a white bear. So let's just fast forward things here. Skillerfish gets both the farmhouse and a shrine. Very, very important dojos to get. Actually, basically the two most important dojos right now. The farmhouse and the shrine. So he's... Killerfish has already got the advantage. And in positioning, looks like he might have it too. Because he's got his 155 range Gungeon here. Which is just harassing this Red Bear. And Furry Beastman can do nothing against it, you know. Other than just continuously take damage from it. Because it's a very mobile uh, 155 range. Look, 40 kills now already on this red bear. He is just harassing. Meanwhile, over here, the US Marine Steer could be dangerous. Once again, he's harassing this red bear. So this is, must be really, really frustrating for Furry Beastman. Because he cannot catch this unit. He just cannot. Now, Killerfish moved the line. And that's what he's going to do here. Now, these units in the center for Killerfish are can be, well, you know, a bit out of position. So yeah, the Red Bear will now get shot at once more, potentially, from this angle. Yeah. Let's just fast forward, because this does look like it's going to take a while. Yeah, I love how Killerfish like, fires one volley, goes back. Whereas another volley goes back. He's killed 80 men there. That's massive. And he's sniping those Yarikis right now as well, which is huge. And he also has like his the cover of this general unit. Now it looks like the engagement has started on this flank. Killerfish is turning the charge. But I'm not sure about this. Just harassing over here was a great idea with the general. Because the general is not here. So I'm not sure if this is going to go very well for Killerfish. However, he does have the forest cover, so his units will do much better. And he's going to take the charge here. And he's going to end up winning that engagement if he gets his spear levy there. And he's going to have more cav units here. So definitely win against the cav of Furry Beastman there. So he should have a good engagement there. Now it looks like Furry Beastman is charging straight for the, this Red Bear unit, which isn't great. What is this URK unit doing? Because it just got mauled by the Marine. So that's a huge problem for uh, Kidderfish, for sure. <laughs> My cat's not uh, 
liking something right now. Anyway, Yariki is here. Looks like they're gonna get shot to pieces by the Red Bear. And on this side, we see Killerfish pushing through, even getting into the revolvers, which only got a massive seven kills here. Uh, Shogitai gonna connect with the Red Bears. And on this side, looks like the Red Bear and Yariki managed to sniff away this Yariki, which is amazing. Quite amazing indeed. <laughs> Revolver Cap getting chased off by Yariki. It's never gonna come back. It's gonna get shattered soon. Now, Killerfish isn't. Organizing his units the best here because this CRK is getting shot at. His marine is hasn't done much this game. Looks like a charge from Killerfish into a Yariki that was not charging. So definitely a great engagement for Killerfish here. On this side, Red Bears are gonna take it into melee against the US Marines. Yariki here chasing off the Black Tortoise, which they should be able to deal with. Marines getting a volley off here, but Yariki's a Killerfish getting destroyed here as well. So Killerfish is not taking really good engagements right now. Except this one in the center here with this marine. And this one is going to be good too here. But he did end up trading Yariki for it, which is not worth it. He needs the cap right now. And he's going to get a really nice charge off here into this red bear potentially. He decides against it though because he thinks he could have gotten charged. Uh, but he may have possibly gotten a charge into it but he wanted to be safe but he might still end up getting shot at if he doesn't move the cab around now if we fast forward things ooh, killerfish getting a nasty volley here now this marine could actually fire and destroy killerfish's hopes it's like that's not the case killerfish is like bunching up here which is another thing i'm not sure of and he he does however have his general which could be huge he needs to use it to Snipe for a Beastman's general, had, because if he sends his general here, this would be great. Still has the farmhouse, so he can always uh, get out if necessary. Now, I'm not sure about what Furry Beastman is doing here, but Killerfish is also making a huge mistake. Pulling away his US Marines so they cannot cover the Red Bears. That's a massive mistake there. So Killerfish, again, with not a great trade here. But he's going to turn around his men. His, he had his general for support, so now... We see the Red Bears of Killerfish getting first volley off, but that's not going to matter. This White Bear is still going to win. Royal Marines still pushing into here. But Furry Beastman, this, this is the opportunity for Killerfish to flank this Marine. Looks like he's not going to take it. And he might end up conceding the first shot here. And he needed to turn around right now because that Marine cannot run away from him. There we go. He's going to get a really good shot off onto this Red Bear, though. But both players are making mistakes. Yeah, now the Marines of Killerfish running back. And just far too late because they get a shot at, at by the Real Marines. So Killerfish not taking the best engagements right now. But yeah, this general has to run away because one volley and it's gone. This general is a great tool right now for uh, Killerfish. Because he has a 1 150 against the 150. And he has his general and... Furry Beastman doesn't even have gun a gun enabled on his general, which could mean that Killerfish could just harass with that. And he's making a huge mistake here. If Killerfish loses his general here, this is it. That is insane. Because he's right up against this Royal Marine. Too, too crazy. He still ends up with two of the dojos. I mean, just think about it. Furry Beastman would just have to move this unit just slightly and he would have that engagement for sure now this gun gen is moving around here which i don't think is a great idea he should have just shot at the gen of free beastman that's the easiest engagement to take oh but Gitterfish is gonna take the engagement here and he's firing downhill into this blob i don't know about this engagement here this is a bit strange but he's again oh no actually he's fine yes these are two units but they are two heavily depleted units and Killerfish is getting a super good engagement here too because he's in the forest against two inferior uh, units well this one isn't inferior but you can see it's not got as many men so very good trades here by Killerfish also a great trade here so he could have just essentially won the, the game with those moves now this marine is running away 
For good reason, though, because it doesn't want to get hit by the Spear Levy. And there's the CR key of Killerfish. He's going to send it around. Possibly go for a snipe on the General of 30 Beastmen. We'll see. And Killerfish still has his General as well, which is huge. Spear Levy gets in melee with the Real Marines, but is going to end up falling. However, the combined forces of uh, Killerfish's General and the US Marines should end up finishing that Royal Marine there. Very, very nicely. The General of Furry Beastman is going to go down right now. So you can see Furry Beastman making a string of mistakes after Killerfish did. Which is going to lose him the game here. But this was pretty close, actually. The closest one of all, I would say. You have triumphed over the enemy. And there we go. So Killerfish ends up taking the match 3-1. I would have liked to see the win of Furry Beastman. But yeah, Killerfish played very well in the beginning with the harass, but he didn't follow up. He could have completely shut down uh, the attempts of Furry Beastman with his own gun gen because gun gen against an enemy gen that doesn't have gun is like can be abused so much. Now Killerfish this means obviously Yariki and his general 131 kills. Pretty effective stuff. Pretty beastman, Royal Marines, lots of damage. Anyway, that was the match. So thank, so thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Follow me on social media. I'll see you next time.